Ooh, nice little double. The reach out? Yes. Let's go. Any more? Yeah. There's three. Ah. Oh. oh my god. Double. Three. Oh, What's going on guys, Fading Onyx here, and welcome to my first ever fully edited YouTube video here on my channel. Now I know that I haven't uploaded in a while, but starting today I will be uploading at least one video every week or so, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. In today's video, I played a new FPS shooter game called Shatterline. I'm sure some of you out there have probably seen clips, but if not, I'll be sure to showcase everything in the game in today's video. Now for the sales pitch of the game, keep in mind that this isn't sponsored and this is purely my opinion. Shatterline is a free futuristic FPS game that combines the likes of Call of Duty and Overwatch into one fast paced and action packed game. For right now, it's only available on Steam, but the devs had come out and announced that they will release a console port soon at some point, but for now it's only on PC. The game is currently in early access, but it shows a ton of promise. The game flows very well and it is great for beginners or for those who have past FPS experience. In today's video, I played three matches, the most exciting one being at the end. I definitely will be playing Shadowline more while most of us sit and wait in anticipation for the release of Modern Warfare 2 later this fall. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe as I'm definitely going to be posting more content like this soon and I also need feedback because this is the first video I have edited on my PC. If you want to hang out with me live, be sure to follow my Twitch. Come hang out with me over on Twitter and follow me on TikTok if you want to see some funny stream clips and more gaming content. All my links, of course, will be down below in the description. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get into the gameplay. Enjoy, and I'll see you soon. I thought that there was different abilities. I think. I'm gonna go with this guy. He seems like the kind of player, the kind of style I would play as. All right, let's do this. Well, I'm suck. Killed. What I've seen this game is like super fast paced. Which I like out of a shooter because like, I don't like stuff that's too slow, but like sometimes COD's too fast. So it's like, this is the perfect mix. Okay, so. Seems like the guns do decent amount of damage too. Alright, alright, not bad. First impressions. It's fun. Nice. Probably try to use my like abilities and stuff. So I'll just put that there. If he walks by, does that like kill him? It does. Or does it not? Ah, it's a C4. Okay, that makes sense. Dang it. Our team is not doing well. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting, knifing. I'm not doing too awful for our first game. There we go, got that. Um, you guy there. Move it. What am I getting hit by? I'm kind of just trying to figure out everything, which is probably why I'm getting shot by so many people. I like how spawns work and stuff. Ooh, okay, so you can't jump. You can't jump and shoot. It's like... It's weird, it's like a mix between Valorant and COD, in my opinion. Because, like, with the abilities and stuff, it seems like that, and also, like, the operators that have, like, different stuff. Okay, these kids are crazy already. 
I love how you can jump, but like it doesn't. Most sh shooters, it kind of like messes up most of your like aim and stuff like that. But I like how it's just. It sort of keeps your bloom the same and doesn't like. It's not. It doesn't give you that negative of a effect. So it's like. You can do it and still have a chance of like winning the fight. It's not like useless. That's a bad way of explaining it, but basically, it's. I like that because most sh no, most competitive shooters, you jump and then it like messes up your chances of winning a fight. Alrighty, where is that guy? Couldn't find him. Can't. I feel like jumping literally makes me hit more of my shots. Maybe not. All right. 16 to 15, not bad. I thought I was gonna have a much worse experience, but that was actually, that was fun. Point is up for grabs. Oh, tax burn, yes. You'd love to see it. Okay, so I wonder if leveling guns gives you an advantage. I wonder if, like, the higher you get, the better attachments you have. I figured that's what that was. Like, I couldn't even hear that guy. I had no idea he was coming up behind me. I have to contort my hand so much to use a nade. Okay, so this is the grab spike. There we go, nice little triple. Yeah, okay, so I like that ability. Even though I killed one dude, I can tell that's that's gonna be really good. My aim there is horrible. I knew she was low. That was actually a good streak, dude. An impressive performance. That was okay. That was actually a good game. I think that rivaled the first game for being the most fun. But I mean, this game is this is something that I would definitely play as long as it stays alive. Because shooters like this tend to die off pretty quick. But I mean, I feel like this game has potential. Like they can do really good things with this. It's a great idea, and, like, I feel like if it's, if they, like, keep in touch with their community, and just keep, like, updating it, and adding maps, and, like, maybe adding guns or something like that, this game could definitely go places. It, it, it's super fun. Ooh, nice little double. With the reach out? Yes! Let's go! Any more? Oh, my aim there, bro. Reloading. Push left side. Ah. Yep. Oh. Not doing too bad, though. Off to a great start. My aim almost potatoed so hard there. I forgot you're not subbed on that other account. That sucks. Another point is up for grabs. Uh, my aim, bro. Yeah, that's two. Oh, I thought I, I thought I had that. Curious to see how like the player base improves. Cause as like as the skill gap increases, it could be pretty interesting. There we go. How did I miss that? Oh my god, double. 
Need more? Three? Come on, come on, come on. Are they behind here? Oh, I thought I had that. Are we have 19 right now? We might push 30. Oh, that's 20 though. There we go. Oh, I wasn't able to flick fast enough. Seems like movement is a huge part of winning fights, which is nice, because that adds to the replayability. Like, there's so much you can do to win a fight. There's so many just different ways that you can play. It's really, really cool. There's two? Ah, oh, I gotta turn that into a nasty clip. Probably wall that. I actually need that too. like what I want Valorant to be which is why I like this game because I like Valorant it's just sweaty and toxic but this is like fast-paced fun and just easy to play it's just it's it's I'm just blown away by how well this game's made 34 dude it's, I don't think I have time to hit 40 but I mean 30 is Way more than I thought I would get. That was a good game. Even though we lost, that was close. That was, that was fun. I was that was constant action. There was just stuff happening. Like there was no breaks. That was that was great. That's the thing with shooters is like sometimes they sort of feel like Control C, Control V, but like this this feels like its own game, and it's it's. Awesome. I feel like a kid on Christmas.